So for the first time in my life, I hit and damaged a parked car. In this video today, I'm here to talk about the oddity of an experience that ensued and what I got out of it. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell to hear the notifications. So Las Vegas is in phase one currently, which means restaurants are at 50% capacity. So me and my buddies went to a pizzeria and while I was leaving the pizzeria, I was not paying attention to my rear view and my hitch hit the back of another person's pickup truck. So as many stories go in this situation, people usually hit and run, drive off, not even leaving so much as a note to let somebody know they just hit their vehicle. I didn't even entertain the thought of running away and not saying anything. So I got out of my truck, found the gentleman who the truck belonged to, so we took pictures, exchanged information, and I let him know that I have a mobile vendor that can actually come to his house and repair the bumper. Shout out to Bumper Man Las Vegas. Long story short, Bumper Man came to this gentleman's house, repaired the bumper, and it looked brand new. So the reason why I'm making this video is not to boast about how great of a human being I am, but to share you the experience that happened afterwards. Both the gentleman as well as Bumper Man were commenting on how great my integrity was and how I handled the situation. For those of you who don't know, integrity is the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles. So the question that I want to pose today is that why is integrity not as common as it should be? I break it down into two main points as to why I did what I did in the situation and why it is important for you to uphold integrity. So point number one is to be the difference. Don't mix yourself up in the crowd of statistics of, oh, most people would have hit and run. Oh, most people aren't as honest. Be the person that is honest. Be the person that does share information. If you at any point in your life wish that the world would be a better place in whatever capacity, understand that that starts with you. World peace can be great, but with each person doing an act of kindness and upholding that integrity, doing the right thing, being the difference, that's what changes the world. So my audience, the people who watch my videos, the ones trying to better themselves, you, the one who's already liked this video and subscribed to my channel, you are the ones who want to make a difference in yourself because you see value in being a better person to help make the world a better place. If I'm wrong, please feel free to comment your opinions below. And if you're still wondering why, I get into point number two, which is to restore faith back into humanity. Show people that there is good in the world, that there isn't this situation where people always do this, or people always do that. When I was interrupting the gentleman's dinner to let him know I hit his vehicle, his family couldn't stop thanking me saying that was so nice. Now in my head obviously- No it was not nice, I just hit your car. Having a few days to breathe, I realized why they were thanking me so much. It's because now they actually have situations where they can't say, oh people always hit and run, people always aren't honest. Having done the situation the way I did, I was able to give a little bit of humanity back into people so that they can say at any point, there was this one time when someone was honest, when someone was nice. If they're ever in this situation, they know that it is possible for people to be honest and nice, and it can help them make their hard decisions if they're ever faced with something like that. Whew! It was a little bit of a stressful week, I'm not gonna lie, leading up to it. Thankfully, he was happy and we moved on. Please feel free to like this video if you haven't already, if you agree with any of the points that I shared, and if you can, please feel free to share a comment on a time where you really upheld your integrity. I'd love to hear the positivity, I'd love to hear your experiences and how you felt. Figure it'll be a platform for you to share what you were able to do to restore faith back into humanity. Until next time, we'll see ya.